take your knife and cut the stem of the strawberry off. Next, we're going to cut the strawberry directly in half. Then we're going to cut the strawberry into thinner slices. And last, we're going to shape our strawberry into heart shapes. Your strawberry should resemble a heart. So after we cut the strawberries, we're going to put a bounty paper on top of them just to get out any like moisture. Then we're going to start working on the chocolate. So we're going to put some chocolate morsels in a bowl and coconut oil. We're going to take a tablespoon of that. We're going to put that into the bowl and put that in the microwave for a few seconds. I, I'm going to put mine in for 30 seconds, but you should see how your microwave works before, you know, you don't want to burn it. So I'm going to put this in for 30 seconds and I'll be right back. So after we microwave, it should look like this, completely melted. We're going to take our hearts, right? You can leave them on the wax paper. Just take a little bit of chocolate, dip it on there. And the reason why we used coconut oil, it's because when you put it in the fridge, it automatically freezes. It's like the magic freeze when you, that you get in the store. So this is how you do it yourself. So after you got all of them covered in chocolate, we're gonna start putting some pink or whatever sprinkles that you want to put on top. And once that is done, stick this in the fridge for a few minutes until it hardens. After we take the cake out of the oven, we remove it from the pans. And now we're going to cut this so we can shape it into a heart. So we're going to take the round cake and cut it directly in the center. So now we have two halves. We're going to open this and put the square cake right in the center to create a heart. So because our round cake is much larger than the square cake, we are going to cut the sides off to make it even. Just be careful with the knife that you don't cut yourself. So we're going to trim on this side and we're going to trim on this side as well. Now we center it. Now everything looks even on the sides. After I trim the cake, I applied frosting to it, which I dyed pink, and I piped around the outside of the heart. And now I'm going to continue the piping to finish it off. So after we piped the cake, we, I took out the strawberries, the chocolate covered strawberries, and I'm going to place them on the cake. I did notice a mistake over here. As you can see, there was like a little indentation. That's because the square part of the cake had less cake in it. So they're kind of not even. So we gotta like work with what we have. Yes, it's not perfect, but let me tell you, this is gonna taste yummy, all right? And it's gonna look good. So we're gonna start placing these strawberries on this cake. So you put them whichever way you want. I'm just going with what I feel right now. Don't really necessarily have a plan. Hopefully they kind of even out, make that part in the cake that has like that indent look at least semi-decent. So 
hopefully I have enough. Oopsie. See? Accidents happen. All right. So. remaining chocolate I am going to drizzle it in open spots making this look a little bit nicer than what it did okay who doesn't love chocolate unless you're allergic to it then you have every right not to like it or lactose intolerant, like myself. We don't want to go overboard, so let's keep it simple right now. But does that look so pretty? Alrighty, now we're done. So we come to the end of our video, and if you have been watching all this time, thank you for watching, and make sure to subscribe like share comment and always remember to shine bright and never let anyone turn off your light thank you for watching see you in the next video